some foods are a treat for your taste buds, but they are very injurious to your health. After knowing what these foods are made up of, you might never willingly eat these foods again. Keeping your hungry tummy under a harness is not an easy task, but we suggest you avoid these foods as much as you can. So, let's start discussing the top 10 foods that you should never eat again. Number 10. Whey Manufacturers make protein powder from many different animal and plant sources. Whey protein is one of the most popular types. Its protein is isolated from cow's milk, so it's animal-based. This product is made of curdled milk, and just to have an insight, you can try taking a small sip of it. Whey protein is very popular, but no pea protein or other plant-based protein powders are steadily gaining popularity. Number 9. Worcestershire Sauce Compared to most other items on this list, Worcestershire sauce might not be much of a problem, unless you were okay with fermented anchovies. Well, even if that's not a problem, what about 18 months of fermentation? The good news is that anchovies contain many vitamins and minerals, so although it might sound a little gross, if you can get past this, you can keep enjoying the sauce. Number 8. Jello Kids love Jell-O, and the kid inside all of us adults also sometimes craves Jell-O. Jell-O is made of gelatin, but do you know what gelatin is made of? Well, you might not be willing to know about this if you're a hardcore Jell-O craver, but gelatin is made up of bones of pigs and cows. It is a complex process, and also it's legal. But again, would you ever eat something made out of processed bones? Number 7. Beer. Well, this might not be a piece of great news for all the vegetarians around because it contains an ingredient called isinglass, which purifies the beer. Brewers use this because it doesn't add any smell to your beer, but it is extracted out of dried swim bladders of fish. If you're a vegetarian and you still like your beer, you should get an acknowledgement for your ignoring skills. Number 6. Caesar Salad. There's nothing wrong with Caesar salad, but actually, there is fish in your Caesar salad dressing. For vegetarians, it is bad news that the dressing which makes their Caesar salad taste so good. The components of this dressing contain fish. So what's the whole point of dieting? Number 5. Shredded Cheese Shredded cheese is a common item used as a taste enhancer. And actually, it is very convenient to just go buy some shredded cheese from a grocery store. But do you ever wonder how each slice of shredded cheese remains isolated even if you clump them? The reason behind that is cellulose or wood pulp. Cellulose coating is used by many companies for preventing these pieces of shredded cheese from clumping by blocking moisture. Next time, we are sure you're going to be shredding cheese yourself for preventing your stomach from processing cellulose for no apparent reason. Number 4. Natural Flavors Artificial flavors were unhealthy, so natural flavors ended up on the market. However, natural flavors don't appear to be any healthier than artificial flavors. Despite their natural origins, natural flavors are very similar to artificial flavors. Castorium is a chemical that is used to enhance flavor. And long story short, castorium is composed of butt secretions of a beaver. Number 3. Pre-Packaged Bread Do you like eating hair? Not yours, but someone else's? What if we were to tell you that if you're eating pre-packaged bread, you're eating someone else's hair? Bread companies make use of a product called L-cysteine, which is used to condition dough on a large scale, and this L-cysteine is made out of hair. A bunch of hair is acquired by these companies from Chinese salons and then processed via acids to make this l cysteine product. Number 2. Honey Most of us love honey due to its sweet, refreshing taste. But do you know where honey comes from? Of course you do! But what you might not have known by now is that honey comes from the process which is dubbed bee vomit. Honeybees have a dedicated stomach in which they store flower nectars, and at the right time, they excrete honey. There's nothing wrong with eating honey, though, but since it's just bee barf, for some, this aspect might be enough of a turnoff for refraining from honey. 
Number 1. Diet Soda Since an overwhelming number of the world's population is diabetic, and also a good number of people are diet conscious, the consumption of diet soda is a new trend. Diet soda might sound like a wise approach, but it is not, because it contains aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener. Aspartame is not helping your diet because it blocks a dietary protein called IAP. If IAP is blocked, you might face trouble while losing weight. With that, today's video comes to an end. If you find this video informative, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share. Catch you in the next one. Peace!